Hey everybody, I'm Jamie. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time. If, if it is your first time, I love to do clothing subscription unboxings, clothing hauls and try-ons, and a little bit of lifestyle stuff stuck in there in between. So if you like that kind of thing, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you along for the ride. Today, I have my Wantable Unbox for January. I don't know when the last time I got one of these was. Maybe last month, actually. I think, oh yes, I bought the the discount box, which did not end up working out very well. I think the discount box just ended up being the things that people didn't really want. So <laughs> it didn't, I didn't keep anything from that box. However, the box before I got this sweater and I absolutely love it. This one is by Vigos. I love the color. I love the fit. I love the warmth. I love everything about it. The length of the sleeves. I did not keep this from my box when I got it because I was on a no buy at the time. But as soon as my no buy was over, I went and bought it because I love it so much. So I have this box today. I will say, I hope the sound is okay on this. My microphone is not working very well. So I'm using the sound on my phone and I'm not sure it's gonna work out so well. So when I do the try on, I'm gonna do side by side. So you can still hear me talking, but I can also show you what I'm wearing. So without further ado, let's get into this box. It is a cold, snowy day here in New England. It is probably in the 20s right now and it's like freezing rain, snowing, gross. I have the day off anyway because I'm working tomorrow so I got today off instead uh, but my coworkers got the day off for free because it's snowing and gross and we're not opening my work today. So I'm glad that everybody has a long weekend. Well not everybody. <laughs> Some of us still have a normal length weekend but almost everybody got a three-day weekend so that's awesome. So this is a pretty good size box and it's pretty hefty so that makes me happy. Wantable sends seven things which is really nice. It's a lot to try on. So here is my bundle and there's always a little sticker that says style for Jamie. Yours wouldn't say style for Jamie. Yours would say whatever your name is. If you like what you see in this box and you want to try one out for yourself you would get clothes obviously that are personalized for you. you get seven items. I think you get five days to try them on and send back, which you don't want to keep. And shipping is always free both ways. There is a $20 styling fee for the box. And if you'd like to try it out, I have a referral code down below and you're welcome to use it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into this bundle. All right. <laughs> it looks like I've got a similar color to what I'm wearing. Um, there's some really nice soft looking stuff in there. So a sweater looks like maybe a dress. Um, and then something black. Ooh, I'm very interested to get into this. So let's check it right out. All right, you are always gonna get just a little packet of information, the prices and all that. We'll talk about those as we go through. Usually I talk about them at the end, but we're gonna talk about them as we go through. And then of course you get a mailer to send back, free shipping, anything you don't decide to keep. So let's get started. Ooh, this has some paper inside it, but this is, ooh, this is a tank. I am going on vacation. Um, it, the Two months in a row, I'm going on a couple of different vacations and this is adorable. I love a good black tank. This one is by Apricot and it's um, a size small, just black and very strappy. As you can see, I love a good strappy tank. And there's the bottom, it's kind of got a couple of layers. You can see it's got like an, an under layer, which is nice. So that'll be fun to try on. I don't remember if I said that I'm going on vacation when I filled out my information. So, all right, next up is this blazer. This is actually something I need. This is, I would say this is like a cross between a blazer and a cardigan. Like it's sort of a much lighter blazer. You can almost see through, well, I can see through, you might not be able to, but it's sort of like a waffle kind of material. So I am interested to try this on for sure. This is by Bobo and again, it's a size small. So yeah, very, very interested. I do not have a cardigan. I need one, but I am just on the lookout for the perfect one. So it's hard to find. All right, next up is a dress. Um, this one is by Hayden, Los Angeles. And I can see right on it that the price is $58. So that's really not bad for a dress. This is really cute. I have something in a very similar style that I think I got from a fashion box, but it has elastic sleeves. It's got ruching or elastic here at the waistband. And then it's got ruffles at the bottom. So pretty. I love a good feminine detail. I think you guys probably know that by now if you've been around at all, but I love something that's like a little bit on the more feminine side. So next up is another dress. This one is by, who is this by? This one is by Nisha, N-E-E-S-H-A, in a size small. It doesn't feel like a very soft material, but ugh, but it seems to be some sort of either cowl neck or turtleneck. I want to say it's going to be a cowl neck. And I'm not sure if it's black or navy. I'll have to see if it says somewhere. 
this one is $68 and it does say it's in black. So it does have a band at the waist again. I really like that because it helps to define the waist and then doesn't always feel like I'm, it's showing off every little imperfection that I have. Oh my goodness. Next up is this sweater. Ooh, I already feel like I'm going to love this sweater. <laughs> This looks so warm and cozy. It's got these nice like wide sleeves. I think that's really fun. It's got sort of like this cable net going down the front. Oh my goodness. What is this? This might be a tough box for me because I'm going on vacation and I really can't buy a ton. This is by Hem and Thread and this one is $69. Um, Wantable does give you a discount if you buy five or more items. So you get seven. If you buy five or more, you get a discount. I think it's 20 or 25%. Next up is a pair of jeans by Flying Monkey. I love Flying Monkey. I got a pair of Flying Monkey jeans from a Wantable box several months ago, and they're my favorite jeans. These are nice and stretchy. They're so comfortable feeling. Oh my goodness. So they do have the distressed hem there, but not too bad. Definitely something I could still wear to work on casual Friday. There's a little bit of distressing on the back pockets but nothing where the knees are or anything like that. So I love finding a pair of jeans that I can wear on casual Friday. So we'll see about those. And then the last thing, oh, this is something that's out of my comfort zone. So I am always excited to try something out of my comfort zone. This is a pair of pants by See You Soon. These are $98. There's no stretch in the waistband. I can feel that right away. And they are my size. So we'll see how they fit, but check out this leg. <laughs> definitely not something I normally pull for. I am definitely like a mostly a skinny jean kind of girl. I rarely even wear like a straight leg or um or a boot cut or anything like that. I am definitely a skinny kind of girl. So we're gonna try that on and see how they fit. Um I love trying things on that are out of my comfort zone but I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. So all right I am going to do a split screen talk you guys through everything and we'll see how this box works out. Okay, so I started off with this black tank by Apricot for $40 and the Flying Monkey Jeans for $78. So this tank was really, really cute. I really loved the strappy, like, strappy, cute look of it. I think it would be great for a vacation or, you know, the weekend or whatever. I don't think it's something I could wear to work just because the straps are not adjustable in any way. So it was a little low cut for a work setting, but I thought it was adorable. I loved these layers. I thought that was really nice and cute keeping it not too sheer. And the fit was really cute. I think it was a great length for being able to tuck in the front of the pants a little bit and just kind of give it more of a fitted look if you wanted to. But that was just, it was just really adorable. So then I tried on the Flying Monkey jeans. I do love this brand. These are more of like a a high rise, which I really like, but they were just a little bit looser on the leg than I feel like my other flying monkey jeans are. Those are a little bit more fitted and I really like that. The other problem for me is the length in the leg. I am just not too sure about that sort of in between cropped length. It's not too, not long enough, but also it doesn't look short enough. I don't know. Am I wrong in this? I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I'm if I'm looking at it in the wrong way, but I think they were just not exactly the right length for what I was looking for in jeans. I love the wash of these though. I loved the sort of like the lighter wash. And then I like the fact that there's not a lot of distressing. It can be really hard for me to find jeans that I really like that don't have distressing. And I like a little bit of distressing, but um, I also like to find a good pair of jeans that I can wear to work. Next up was this dress by Nisha. This one was on sale for $34, which is a great deal. And it surprised me a lot. I thought it was going to be kind of boring, but I think because it's a cowl neck, it gives it kind of a nice shape at the neckline. And then also because it has sort of that band right here across the waist, it was more of a fitted look in the middle and then sort of flared out a little bit on the bottom. So that made it look just a little bit more fitted and more my style. So I really liked this one a lot. And for $34, I could easily wear this one to work through the rest of the winter, maybe even in other seasons, because it's very light, but I could layer it with a pair of leggings or something like that, and it would just be comfortable. I have been looking for a dress that's not too much on the top. So I have a black dress that's sort of a mock neck, and it's just, it seems like it's too much for me up here. So the fact that this is a cowl neck and sort of leaves a little bit of openness here is a, a better fit for me, I think. So the sleeves were sort of just at the right spot. They definitely were not 
long <laughs> so I'm not sure about the sleeve length but other than that I loved this dress okay next up was this pretty dress by Hayden Los Angeles this ruffled tiered dress and it's $58 so I think that's a great price for a dress this one is very light I'm not sure how well you can see but you can see through it pretty well so I would probably have to wear something under it and um, I think otherwise it would be too sheer I love those ruffles I think it's just it just makes such a pretty detail I think this one maybe was a little overwhelming for my body shape I tend to like things to be a little bit more fitted just so they don't sort of overwhelm and and make me look bigger than I am and I feel like this one might be doing that I'll have to look back it was really fun to twirl in though <laughs> I love a good twirling dress especially since I'm a librarian and I do a lot of like spinning and and dancing and singing and story time so a good twirly dress is always a fun thing to have this one was definitely fun and I love the color as you can see it's a very similar color to what I'm wearing now and I just love that sort of like peachy peachy rust I guess rusty peach <laughs> color so I really liked this one overall but still a maybe because of sort of the overwhelming feeling of it next I tried this blazer by Bobo so I'm not sure I would fully call this a blazer because it has no buttons and you'll see that in the try on it's it's very long so it feels more like a cardigan style but it has no buttons um, up the sides and I feel like a blazer should have buttons uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that maybe I'm not with it enough with <laughs> when it comes to blazers because I haven't owned one in years so yeah I'm not so sure about that I do like that the collar had that blazer look but I'm not sure that it fits what I would be looking for for a blazer I do kind of appreciate that longer style so that I could wear it as a cardigan if I wanted to and that waffle knit is fun I will say it wasn't super comfortable on the inside. It's very soft on the outside, but it wasn't as comfortable on the inside, unfortunately. So anyway, this one does have pockets. It's got those pockets that have the little sewn thing at the top. I guess you, you pick it open or something, but um, yeah, I don't usually play around with that kind of thing, especially when I haven't bought the item. So anyway, it does have pockets on either side. So yeah, that one's a thought, but I, I don't think I'll be keeping it because of the fact that it's not really as much of a blazer as I think I'd want it to be. So the last two items I tried, one surprised me, actually they both kind of surprised me, the sweater, this beautiful colored sweater by Hem and Thread, $69, and then the pants by See You Soon or $98. So let's start with the sweater because this one surprised me in kind of a negative way, maybe because of the pants that I paired it with. I love the idea of the sweater. It was so warm and cozy. I love the length of the sleeves. I love the little bell to the sleeve. I love the cable knit on the front there. It did not continue on to the back as you'll see on the try on. The cowl neck was fun, but I felt like this one again was one of those pieces that was sort of overwhelming on my body. It was just, just very large. I think if I had chosen to wear it with a more fitted jean, like a a skinny leg or something like that it might have been a better fit instead I tried it on with more of the wide leg pant and while I love those pants I don't think it was a good fit for this sweater so maybe if I tried it on with the jeans that I was wearing earlier in the try on or something like that I might have liked it better but overall this one felt a little bit overwhelming it was so warm though oh my goodness for a cold winter New Hampshire day so warm and cozy <laughs> all right let's move on to those pants so this was maybe my biggest surprise in the box. I wasn't sure I was going to like these. I don't know if you could tell when I pulled them out of the box. They are out of my comfort zone, not my general style, but I loved them. I will say they were a little bit too tight around the waist, sort of in that in-between space where you know if you size up, they're going to be way too big. But if you keep this size, it's just, just a teeny bit too tight. It, if I maybe lost a pound or two, they'd probably fit perfectly, but I don't like to buy pants based on that because I'm always afraid I'm going to actually gain a pound or two and then they're not going to fit at all. In general, I loved these pants. They were so pretty. They fit so well. I thought they looked nice in the back and the front. I think, you know, maybe a different sweater with them, but I loved the length of that leg. It, the length, the width, I loved everything about <laughs> these pants, except that they were just a tiny bit too tight. So yeah, I, I'm not sure about these. I think they're probably gonna have to go back. $98 is a lot to spend on something that doesn't fit perfectly, perfectly, but I loved them way more than I thought I was going to. All right, let's do a quick recap and figure things out here a little bit. 
All right, guys, this was a good box. I thought that Brittany, who was my stylist this time around, did an excellent job picking things out for me. She did send five of the things that I had requested, which is really nice. So Wantable has a stream. You can go on, look through their stream and request certain items. You can also decline certain items and they won't send those to you. And they may or may not send you your requests. So most of their requests on here came from November, December, January. But if you leave a request on your list, from June, they might send that to you in January. So definitely keep your stream updated if you're gonna use it because you might not necessarily wanna get something that's summery in December or January. So anyway, I love the things that she picked and sent to me. I thought she did such an excellent job. So the overall total for this box would be $445. If you keep five items, there's a 20% discount. I think I said 25% before, but it's 20%. So if you keep five of the seven items, you get a 20% discount. If I kept all seven items with the discount, it would end up being $356. And of course there's the $20 styling fee that does get credited toward anything you decide to keep. So if I kept this entire box, it would be $336. I'm not doing that this time around for sure, but there is a thing or two I might keep from this box. I, I really liked a lot of this box. I could probably keep four to five items and be perfectly happy. So that's a great box in my book, but I probably will only keep one or two. So let me know what were your favorite one or two pieces. I would love to know. All right, guys, thank you for coming along with me today. Um, Wantable is always a little bit on the longer side because of all the pieces, but it's really fun to get seven as opposed to five because more choices, right? So anyway, thanks so much, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.